Today I'm gonna do a different type of video. It's one that I usually, I don't think I've ever done one like this, but it's a comparison video, okay? And uh, so right there, we are doing a barnuminium, okay? And literally 20 feet away, the customer had a metal building put up by someone else. And I just kind of want to show you the difference. You guys know how we build our barnuminiums. Uh, we use American-made steel, everything from MBCI. We, uh, we use sack screws on the roof. I mean, it's something that I went over on different episodes. But anyway, I'm going to show you on this building a lot of mistakes that they made. I don't even know if I should call it a mistake because mistakes are you didn't realize it happened, right? You didn't mean for it to happen, but it happened. Uh, at, at some point, it just becomes negligence, and I think that's what's going on here. So negligence, there's, there's different reasons for it. Uh, one is they just really don't care, and number two is they're probably trying to hit a, a price point that they're trying to stay under so that they can sell more jobs. And uh, I think at that point, whenever you're trying to hit that price point, the, the number one comes with it where you just don't care. Uh, you don't care what it looks like, you're just trying to sell them. And I think that's what's happening here. So anyway, enough of that, let me show you what I'm talking about. As I was standing here, looking at our building, so you can see, look at the walls, you don't see any screws. But then I looked over here, and you can see the row of screws there. I started, it, it really caught my eye. So then I started, walking over here so let me let me show you our building okay so here's the corner trim we have a white screw and then on the sheets we have gray screws okay so they all just blend in then i look over there and like i said i can see all their screws and i start to wonder why well they use galvanized screws on their sheets on their walls which obviously stick out like a sore thumb of course upon inspection I started to see you know red chalk marks on the wall okay so I started to wonder why those marks are there well I think the reason is oh this one's really noticeable you see that so the reason for that is they <laughs> they put a chalk mark or a chalk line on there to uh, get their screws straight. Obviously, that's not needed. All you have to do is stack all the sheets, get your dimensions. So you can stack all your sheets together, get your dimensions from you know from the base to your first screw, then to the next one, to the next one, and so on and so forth. And then you can simply either punch them or drill them, all stacked. Then when you put them up, all the screws are gonna line up. That's how you're supposed to do it. Of course, these guys don't know how to do that, so they put a chalk line up here. I hope they're watching this video and maybe they can learn something from here. So, again, I start inspecting. And uh, you can see down here on the slab as well, how the sheet metal sticks out past the edge of the slab see like right here so I can stick I can stick my pinky under here so of course if you're a critter you have no issues getting in there okay so uh, this is obviously the difference and of course you get to here and look at this uh, look at this strap for your downspout Look at that. They, I mean, they did a ton of damage on this building before they even left. <laughs> it's a brand new building, you know. And of course, they have the uh, the corner trim. And this corner trim, they put on top of the rib. And that just, see on this side, the rib's right here. And then they put it on the flat. On this side, it's on top of the rib. So, let me try to show you what I'm talking about. See that this trim's supposed to line up with the high side of the ribs. On this side, you can see that it's kicked out that way because they put it on, the, on top of the rib. So, 
I don't know how long this guy's been doing metal buildings, but like I said, it's not done properly. All right, here's another thing that I missed earlier. I was so focused on the strap, how bad they scratched the sheets, that I actually missed this one right here. They actually, <laughs> they actually put a, a hole in the wrong place. They moved the screw and they just left the hole. There's a lot of stuff that they missed that I would call basic, but you know, uh, this is the difference between a, a building done by somebody who has been doing it for a long time and that not only has been doing it for a long time, but that they care about quality versus somebody who's probably just starting out and just trying to do a budget metal building. And like I said, they didn't even, they didn't even bother putting on the correct color screws. There's a ton of videos on YouTube from, from us, from Kyle and RR Buildings that tell you how to build a great <laughs> metal building. With as much information as there is out there today, I really don't understand how somebody can put up a metal building like this other than they're just trying to cut every corner possible. As I'm standing here, I just saw something else. And this is what I'm talking about. See all these handprints on the door? Look at that. This is a brand new metal building. Okay, not only that, look under here under the door okay see this hole under here there's a big hole under there because they they got the slab the wrong size so anyway I don't know who did it look how they meet up the corners they just put a big fat screw right there I don't know who built it I don't really care uh, that's not the point of this video the point of the video is there's plenty of info out there. Just learn, 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 and don't settle for just doing it the way you've always done it, you know? Like I say, using a chalk line to get your screw line straight, man, that, that, that should not even be an option at this point. Like I said, Kyle, our, our buildings, we, we show you guys how to do a straight line. Uh, like I said, stack your sheets together, measure, either drill them or punch them. Uh, uh, we've been drilling them for forever, but uh, Kyle, he uses a, a punch. Hey, I'm gonna try that next. Again, I'm not above trying something new, you know? If I think something's gonna help, I'm not too proud to say, oh, you know, my way's better. Heck no, I'm gonna try everybody else's way. And like I said, Kyle seems to uh, just punch the hole and it works perfect, so I think we're gonna try that next. But the point is, all the infos out there, do a good job. If you really wanna, Again, if this is a new builder starting out, my advice to them would be charge a little more if you have to, but do an excellent job, okay? This is not going to get your name out there. I mean, it will get your name out there, but not in a good way, okay? And that's what I did starting out, and I think that's what every good builder does starting out. You would never sacrifice quality. If you're going to lose money, oh well, you lost money, learn from it, go to the next job, put more money on it. but. Uh, there is no excuse for doing this kind of work. Uh, the customer is aware of it, and him and I talked about it, and I asked him if it was okay for me to do this video, and he said, yeah, no problem, go ahead. So, um, I know this is a very touchy subject. I understand that. You know, a lot of people are gonna think I'm, I'm uh, just pooping on the competition. I'm not, I'm, I'm just doing this video so that you guys can see there's a difference, okay? There, there is a difference, and that's why the, the the, uh, the better builders charge more money, okay? You, you, you get what you pay for. Now, this metal, I can't tell, but it may be, uh, I don't know if it's 26 gauge or 29, but I mean, for example, just look at, look at this, look at this, uh, the way they held this uh, downspot in place. I mean, it, they, these guys must not own a level or a, or a square or anything, or they just don't care to use one. And that's probably, the biggest problem is that they probably don't care to use one. They're trying to go, go, go. Uh, let's get out of here. It's gonna, you know, every minute extra that they spend on this building is gonna cut into their bottom line, which is probably already pretty thin, which is kind of their tactic to get jobs. That is never a good tactic, okay? That is a tactic to get jobs. I'm not saying I have never done work uh, you know for cheap 
but I didn't I didn't build a poor building. I did I did work for cheap for a long time. Trust me. Uh, number one, I really didn't know how to bid jobs. And number two is, I was losing money building buildings. I was just trying to get my name out there. But guess what? I was losing money. A lot of times I lost money, but I never did a bad quality job. And I think that's part of why I'm here today, okay? Uh, it's okay to do a, a job for, you know, for less money than you normally would, uh, just to get your name out there. You know, out when you get started, maybe you don't charge as much. But I'm not saying lose money, but don't, <laughs> don't save money by doing a poor job because you're only hurting yourself. You can also see where they probably dropped their chalk line or something on the ground and yep you guessed it they just left it there so all the concrete stain now of course they're using the red one which is permanent and uh, again not a good thing and of course like i said this this building has red lines all over it to get their uh, screw lines straight but yeah you know you can see in here this trim they put just regular galvanized screws everywhere and they're overdriven too. You can see that, how that washer's squirting out. They overdrove these screws, and uh, these are just some real cheap screws. Look at the spacing here. So they put it here, here, and that one, they got it right up against the rib. And as you can see, there's a gap under it. So that one's probably gonna leak. There's just no, no consistency anywhere. There's another one right on the rib. And uh, I mean, it, it's, it's not that hard. Again, if you were to pre-drill or pre-punch these, you can easily measure right in the center, put your mark right there, stack all your sheets, and punch them all through. And then they're all gonna be, your screws are gonna be perfectly straight, all your screws are gonna be perfectly centered, everything's gonna be perfect. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, right in the center, this is a lap. See, this is where the sheets overlap. So then we have a screw right there. This is a lap screw. If, by the way, these are different screws. This one is thicker than this one because this one's meant to go on sheet metal. Uh, so these are actually two types of screws. This is a regular sheet screw, this is a lap screw. And of course you get over here, perfectly centered, perfectly centered, perfectly centered. Another lap screw, centered, centered, see? And not only that, you can follow the screw line and you can see that they're all perfectly straight. Again, pretty simple stuff. You just have to take the time to learn how to do it and, and want to do it. So whoever did their concrete for them was probably also a budget guy. Probably they didn't take the time to, to do it right. And again, they're just trying to go so fast, so fast. Who cares, just go, don't worry about it. Nobody's gonna notice. That's kind of their typical mentality. And then they end up with something like this, so. Anyway, again, I'm not pooping on them. I'm just kind of trying to show somebody's trying to get into the business. Who do you want to be? You want to be the guy that builds those buildings or you want to be the guy that builds these buildings? And then I know this is going to happen. They're going to ask, who did this building? I tell you what, I want people to know that we did this building. I guarantee you the person that did this building, they do not want me to name them. I guarantee you. I have a big channel on YouTube, okay? And I guarantee you they do not want their name to get out there. I guarantee if I was to say their name, they'd probably, they'd probably email me and threaten me or do some kind of crazy stuff because I'm showing their work. If somebody wants to show my work, please give me credit, please. That's all I say, don't take credit for it because we're doing this. And of course this metal building was done by WD Metal Buildings, okay? They've done my metal buildings for a long time. They do amazing work, but that's the point I'm trying to make. These guys right here, they won their name attached to that building. Whoever did this building, I guarantee you they don't want their name attached to theirs. That should tell you everything you need to know.